You may fish a lake that gets a lot of pressure or just traditional styles of fishing do not get the bites. Well, today in this video, we're going to go over some unique finesse fishing tactics that will help you put more fish in the boat or off the bank and up against your friends. So, hey, stay tuned to this video. It's going to be a good one. Springtime fishing means finesse fishing, in my opinion. It's one of the best ways to trigger a bunch of fish into biting. Because remember, during the spring, a lot of these fish are not necessarily very aggressive. There are periods where they, they're really fattening up and they're eating a bunch of stuff to get into that spawning mode. But once they start thinking about spawning, they become a lot more finicky. And that's where your finesse presentations are really going to work well. This happens a lot in the Great Lakes regions you know, and on the Great Lakes, you get a bunch of smallmouth that move up onto these shallow flats. And a lot of times you got to throw really finesse style baits for them. And one of the, my favorite baits to fish for these smallmouths up on the flats is a hover rig right here. This is a hover rig where I've got a four and a quarter inch max scent Berkeley flatworm in the Gobiashi color rigged on the hook. This is the core tackle hover rig hook. Guys, you know, I produce these one of the places where I tested this thing out was on the Great Lakes during the pre-spawn when you have big roaming fish up on the flats, talking about your rock transitions and isolated boulder, sand patches, things like that where you get a bunch of fish that are up roaming shallow water, 14 foot of water or less, a lot of times two, three, four foot of water, and your 364th ounce hover rig hook is deadly when you pair it up with a small finesse pl plastic like a four and a quarter inch Berkeley Max Scent Flatworm. Give it a try on your favorite Ned Rigs. You turn your Ned Rig into a gliding tube-like spiraling menace that the fish just can't refuse. Honestly, you put it on any one of your small plastic baits that you like fishing for smallmouth, and I assure you they're gonna eat it up because you get this gliding motion that sometimes spirals, then goes into a glide, when it hits the bottom and you snap the rod, instead of it coming vertical, it darts left or darts right. Very unique presentation that pre-spawn and spawning fish cannot get enough of. They've never seen it before. They're eating it up like mad. And if you fish places like Sturgeon Bay or the Thousand Islands or Lake St. Clair, you gotta try the Core Tackle Hover Rig. It's a presentation that the fish are eating up big time. So check it out, guys. I know you're going to like it, and it's one of my absolute go-to finesse presentations during the spring. Hey, guys, what's up? Welcome back to another edition of Bass Fishing Declassified, and thanks for taking a few minutes to check today's video out, which is brought to you by Bridgeford Food Corporation, maker of the Bridgeford Sweet Baby Ray Beef Jerky, guys. The most awesome beef jerky you will ever taste, I can assure you. In addition, all-American-made company, guys. Everything about this company is all-American-made. They make components for our, our, our military's MREs. Great supporter of the sport of bass fishing, guys. Just check them out. You can get them at any the checkout counter at Walmart or a lot of different retailers across the country. But uh, Bridgeford Sweet Baby Ray, it's just awesome, absolutely awesome jerky. Okay guys, today we're going to talk about my favorite um, finesse technique for the springtime, and that is a flick shake. Now, if you're not familiar with what a flick shake is, I'm going to show you guys how to set it up and rig it, but it's basically like a weighted wacky rig, and the key on it is the head and the hook that you use. Um, this is the Gamagatsu Wacky Head, and this is what I use to rig it the flick shake on. Basically, it's just sort of like an, an EWG style hook on there, you know, with a lead head on it, anywhere between, you know, the 16th to three quarter or 16th to an eighth of an ounce with a weed guard. Uh, I prefer taking the weed guard off. I usually cut it off, but it's pretty simple, guys. Um, the way that I rig it up is um, I use a zoom, five inch zoom slinky, or you can use any type of a soft uh, stick bait like a Cinco or whatever. And the first thing I do before I'm going to show you guys how to rig it up is, is definitely rough it up. I do this to all my soft plastic stick baits, guys. It gives the stick bait a little bit different look, but more than anything else, it, it breaks up some of the salt in them. You know, every stick bait, every soft plastic stick bait has a different level of salt in it, but it gives the bait better action. You'll definitely get more bites. And then just take the flick shake head or the, the uh, wacky head, as far as the, this is the Gamagatsu wacky head, hook it right through the middle, you know, same way you, do, you would like a wa wacky rig, and that's how you fish it. Now you're gonna say, well, you know, why don't you just use a wacky head or just a wacky rig, Randy? The key on the flick shake, guys, is the head on there because the head is gonna allow you to be a lot more 
versatile as far as different depth columns that you can fish. So what it does, it basically just makes uh, the bait fall, fast fall, or fall faster. I prefer the 16th of an ounce because it has a fall rate about like, oh, just about like that, it falls down. And what this allows you to do, um, you can cover a lot more water with it. So you can cover sort of that two to maybe even 15 foot range with it. You can fish it like a shaky head. If you use it like on an eighth ounce head, it gets down real quick. And you still have the same wacky action as far as the tail's moving a little bit and the same finesse look that a wacky rig would have. Another advantage with this is like you can fish it really effectively on windy days. You know, sometimes if you're in a day that's got 15, 20 mile hour winds and you're using just a straight wacky rig, sometimes it's, it's hard to get that bait to fall down. But uh, the combination of the faster fall, the ability to cover more water, makes it one of my favorite finesse tactics in the spring. Now, the, the main time that I like to fish this, guys, are right before the fish start spawning. Now, right before they start spawning, a lot of times they get on some of the secondary points that are adjacent to the spawning coves. And I like to take the flick shake and fish it in and around those secondary uh, points in there, the same like I would with maybe like a football head jig or a shaky head or a drop shot, but there's something about the presentation of the flick shake that just, it gets a lot of bites when that water temperature is sort of like between 55 to 70 degrees is when ideally I like it. Now, another thing about the flick shake guys that, that you will find out is it works a lot better in clear water because um, whatever reason, I prefer water visibility of at least three feet. And I like ideally four to five foot visibility for this to work good. I think it's a combination of the visual strike attracting of the thing falling and just the finesse approach. You just get more bites in clear water. And the colors pretty much, you know, I go green pumpkins, watermelons, uh, sort of stay with those. But anyway, guys, give it a try. The, uh, you just, the flick shake rig is just a fish catching bait in the springtime of the year. It doesn't get fished a lot. It'll put a lot of fish in the boat for you guys. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you all next time. If you're struggling to find productive areas on your lake or are new to fishing and want to get pointed in the right direction about where to start fishing, head to our website, fishthemoment.com, and go to our Lake Breakdowns page. Here you'll find lake breakdowns from myself, Randy Blockett, and Matt Steffen. I focus on offshore breakdowns, Matt covers smallmouth, and Randy covers shallow water largemouth. These lake breakdowns provide 40 GPS waypoints that you can transfer straight to your fish finder. We give detailed area descriptions, the best conditions to fish each area, lure recommendations, and key strategies for the lake in general. We also give you a guide on how to transfer the waypoints straight to your fish finder so you don't have to worry about the technology gap there. You can scroll through and find breakdowns for all four seasons of the year. And we have a lot of lakes here, so you, you probably will find most of the major lakes in this list already. However, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom and don't see your lake in one of the four seasons, you can also get a personal lake breakdown from either Randy or Matt at the bottom of the page, and you can pick any lake in the country and get 40 waypoints picked out personally by Matt or Randy. Check out our lake breakdowns at fishthemoment.com. Okay, guys, the finesse fishing uh, technique that I'm going to talk about is let's say you are fishing a uh, shallow water such as a flooded bushes or it could just be some lay downs. And when you think of flooded bushes, you think of, you know, fishing the edges with a moving bait or you think of flipping a jig or a Texas Reed creature bait worm up in the bushes. Well, guys, I'm going to talk about a recent fishing trip where we're fishing flooded bushes and the traditional techniques, ways of fishing them would not get bit. And I had actually a junior high and a high school kid with me and they got to watch the hover rig in action for fishing these flooded bushes. Guys, I know you have probably heard about the hover rig in the past recent months from Matt's channel and this channel and Johnny's channel as well. So we were fishing a lake that gets a lot of pressure and we were fishing flooded bushes that was on this one section of where I know we've caught some fish even recently. Well, as we started going through there, they would not hit the traditional jigs and worms. I tied on the hover rig and then all of a sudden they started biting that thing like they've never seen it because they never have. The two lures of choice I was pitching at the edge of these bushes was the Big Bites Bad uh, Big Bites College Craw, as you see right here. It's the black and blue with just a little bit of a silver under it, which I like that silver flake. The College Craw does really good on the hover rig because of the flat bottom. As you can see right here, it is flat. And with that, lets that gliding motion, lets it kind of do some action you can't control, which is really, really unique to the bass. The other lure that I tried was the Toe Thumper Craw Gill, which, you know, if you watched one of my recent hover rig videos, 
videos. I talked about the G-Rax uh, bellows, uh, bellows gill. This is kind of like that gill body style with the two little uh, craws on it. And that's something that I know these fish have definitely not seen. Definitely fish down here in this part of the state where I'm at. Also guys, if you're looking for some sunglasses, go ahead and check out Waterland Sunglasses. I have a code that you can use that will save you some money on an order today. If you're looking for good quality sunglasses at a good price, go to Waterland, check them out. And guys, not a lot of people will talk about fishing bushes with spinning tackle. But guys, I wasn't afraid to. And of course, it, what, what ended up happening was these three to four pound fish we were catching was actually pretty fun on the finesse rod as well. So guys, if you have a bank, a point, or like we are just fishing a, a section of flooded bushes that you might fish a lot and throw your traditional lures to catch them, hey, switch it up and do not be afraid to go to a finesse fishing tactic right here like the hover rig. This is the 1 8 size hook. I know we have a lot of guys that love the finesse fishing, love the spinning reels, and man, it is fun to catch fish on them. I don't care who you are, it is, it is fun, and there's nothing like it. So hey guys, go ahead, pick you up some hover rigs at Core Tackle today.